Are you afraid to ask if she's single? Do you feel like she would find out your true intentions and reject you? Do you feel much safer not asking if she's single and be delusional, hoping that she's not single and being okay with at least just talking to her and being stuck in the friend zone, hoping one day it will change. But experience tells you that it has never been the case. My man, I got you. I went through all of this. So keep watching. I was a pussy. I was afraid to ask a girl if she's single or if she has a boyfriend. Because I felt like she would find out my true intentions and then reject me. It's embarrassing. I didn't want to feel those feelings. I didn't want to go through those kind of situations. I always chose to play it safe and was always stuck in the friend zone. I wanted to change it so bad, but I couldn't. And this is how my journey started. Now I have no problem at all asking if she's single or if she has a boyfriend or even getting rejected. Also, a friend zone is not part of my life anymore. I simply do not have female friends. And I want to tell you one thing, my man. I freed up so much time for the girls that are single and that are interested in me rather than being stuck in the friend zone that directly violates my masculinity and puts it in danger. So what's the secret? There is no secret, my man. You will have to do all the heavy lifting yourself. You will have to start installing new neural connections in your brain and simply start asking are you single do you have a boyfriend are you dating anyone and i will tell you it will feel uncomfortable at first because it is very unfamiliar to you but trust me once you do it again and again and again it will feel natural to your brain asking these questions and you will get similar, exact same answers all the time. Girls react absolutely normal to these questions. It is exactly the same as asking a girl if she has a siblings, brother or sister. Here's how I do it. I start with the basic conversation, but I always have in mind where I want to take this conversation where this conversation is going. And after many times, you will have a pattern saved in your mind on how to talk to, where to lead the conversation. Because honestly, they're always the same. You talk about the same stuff, the answers are similar, and you just have to wait till the answer and ask the next question, just like the computer game, just like the pattern just like the algorithm, it's freaking matrix. And I will tell you a recent story from Barcelona and it involves me leading the conversation and talking to a girl on the beach. So imagine Saturday, Barcelona, European vibes. I'm going to the beach, it's daytime. And as I'm walking around, by the way, the girls are mostly topless in Barcelona on the beach and there are beautiful girls as well that are topless not only the old women and ugly ones it is very interesting to see if you live somewhere not in Europe if you live somewhere outside Europe it might feel weird so it might take some time getting used to it and I also heard the news that they might allow topless swimming and tanning in the pools and beach clubs. It's freaking awesome, I'm, I'm moving to Barcelona. So as I'm walking through the beach by myself, the vibes are good, I'm listening to my music, I'm looking around for the girls that I like or just for some company. As I'm visiting for a few days, 
off, I saw this cute girl on the beach. She's completely my type. She's by herself. She's reading a book. My vibe. I move closer. I put my towel not too far away from her and just sit down and evaluate the situation. If she's with someone or not, what's, what's the situation like? I call it kind of emerging in the scene because I need to, I need my brain to get used to what's happening, just to think of a plan, what I'm, how I'm gonna talk to her, how I'm gonna approach her, and looking for threats, I would say. So when I uh, battled my anxiety, come up with a plan, I just moved to her, I stood up, I came to her, sat next to her on the sand, and I simply smiled and asked her, I'm just curious, what are you reading? That was just the observation that she was reading a book and it was an easy conversation starter. Because like the, the hardest part is to start a conversation. Keeping up the conversation is easy. She said it was something about love. Uh, and I made my observation and I, my, and I gave her assumption. And I said, you must be a romantic person if you read a book about love. She smiled, laughed, and said, yeah, maybe. So that was a warm opener, and she started talking to me. And that was not, it was not weird anymore. I said, hi, I'm visiting here. Uh, are you from Barcelona by any chance, or are you visiting as well? She said, yeah, I'm from Barcelona. I'm a local, I was born here. I said, wow, this is so cool. And from this point, you just keep in the conversation really light, very basic because you want to girl because you want to establish some comfort with the girl and for the girl to feel a little safer because you're a complete stranger she doesn't know you she has like a minute or so to evaluate if you're a threat if you're a weirdo if you're good if you're a cool guy and if it's safe so by keeping in light just normal basic conversations nothing too risky they're giving her time and her mind to get used to you. So now when you see that she warmed up to you and she can keep up the conversation and she's actually interested in continuing the conversation, you can just switch up the topics. Always keeping in mind what's your main goal. You want to find out if she's single and proceed from that point forward. So I usually ask, uh, what do you do in your free time? How do you spend your free time? She says, oh, I usually spend it with my friends. And we are not in Barcelona because there are so many tourists, they're annoying. I just joked about tourists because I was the one I said, oh, annoying like me. She said, ah, yeah, ha, ha, ha. No, they are just drunk in the clubs. I'm like, oh, yeah, at least I'm not drunk. I'm sober this during the day. We laughed a little bit, infused some humor. And I said, wow, you must be having a lot of friends. She said, yeah, I have different groups of friends. And we hang out with different groups of friends in, on different occasions. I was like, wow, wow, cool. So how about relationships in Barcelona? Are you seeing anyone? Did you see how smooth that transition was? What do you do in your free time? Oh, you hang out with friends. That's so cool. And how about relationship? Because this is a very related question to your circle, to your how you spend your free time, your social connections, friends, relationship, family. And it was completely organic, but unfortunately she said, I actually, yes, I do have a boyfriend. And from this point of view, you will have to transition to something lighter and random, because from this point of view, from this point onwards, you have no interest in this girl because she has a boyfriend. And it might get a little awkward from this moment because you don't have to kind of talk about anything else anymore and waste her time and your time. So I usually say like, yeah, that's awesome. I said, Barcelona is amazing. I would love to live here one day and stay for a little longer than one day. Then um, there was pleasure to meet you. I'll have to go soon. Let's exchange Instagrams. Let's stay in touch. I hug her, kiss her in the cheek. She said she enjoyed the conversation. And why I took her Instagram, you asked, because you never know if she one day becomes single and you visit Barcelona or any other city. Or mostly the case is they always have hot single girlfriends. And as they know you, they can introduce you to them. 
This was just simple and the most recent example of how I lead the conversation with a girl if I'd like to find out if she is single or not. And honestly, I always keep the same conversations. I don't like going and experimenting with something. I do change some elements from time to time, but the direction where I'm leading this conversation is always the same. Find out if she's single, then invite her out, then take her number, Instagram, and proceed forward. So every time you're starting a conversation with a girl or literally with anyone, you will have to keep in mind what's the goal of the conversation because you are the master of this conversation. You orchestrate where this conversation is going. If you want this conversation to go your way and find out what you want. And by asking the girl if she's single as soon as possible in the interaction will free up so much of your time. I promise you. And the girls, they appreciate it so much because they don't like guys beating around the bush. It shows that you have low self-esteem, that you are not confident. But when you express your interest directly, it shows your confidence. It shows your masculine traits. Try and practice it every time you're talking to a new girl. My advice would be try asking by text at first to feel more confident because you're not interacting face to face and then proceed to real life. Make the transitions very smooth. At first it will feel very awkward. When I started, I couldn't even spit it out. I, I couldn't take the words out of my mouth. I, I really was so afraid to ask, are you single? Are you seeing someone? So I had to go a little bit around like, how's the relationship going? Or are you seeing, do you have someone? So it was super safe, but this will just lead you to a simplified version of, are you single? Are you seeing someone? It's just a matter of installing this new neural connections in your brain, practicing it, repeating it again and again until it feels natural. And you can ask this question with full confidence, my man. I believe in you. And I recommend you watching my video about dating and dating as a skill that can be learned right over here. It's one of my favorites and I see you in the next one.